Hey there guys, welcome back to The CEO Life. Today, my name is Wes Biko, as usual. Now guys, I am sorry for being gone uh, for the past month. Haven't posted much, but anyways, we're going back to five uploads per week. Gonna keep going with the CEO Life stuff. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Got a bit of a new lighting setup here going on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Give you a hint about tomorrow's video too. I'm gonna explain why I've been gone for the past month. It has to do with car stuff. Um, I'm doing a video about the top five car scents, scents that I personally spray in my vehicles that I really like, and that'll kind of give you a bit of a hint of what I've been doing. Go check out my personal Instagram though, at Wes Beko, W-E-S-B-E-I-K-O, and that'll explain to you guys a little bit more about what I'm talking about. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. It's going to be a good one. Now today we're talking about this. This is a fragrance from Tom Ford. This is ombre leather. Here's how the box looks. Very plain. So this used to be, I think it was ombre 16 is what it was, under Tom Ford's private blend and he released it as a fragrance now that you can just pick up. Um, this is 116 bucks on Fragrance Buy, it's 50 ml. Now what does this smell like? Also too, this sprays pretty well, don't get me wrong, just like all Tom Ford bottles. This smells really similar to this guy right here, Tuscan Leather. These are very similar scents, these are almost identical. Um, the main difference I find, Tuscan Leather is a bit more beefy, more masculine, that kind of cocaine-y, raspberry vibe that you get from that. This has it. This one doesn't. This one's just that leather smell from Tuscan Leather. So if you like just the leather smell without any of the added um or sharpness, go pick up this. Okay, ombre leather, really great scent. How long am I getting in terms of lasting with this? Nowhere near Tuscan Leather, guys. This is going to seven, eight hours max for me um, before it completely disappears. And we're talking maybe five hours of projection if you're lucky with it. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with Tuscan Leather. So that's why I'm getting rid of this bottle swapping this out. Um, got something cool coming from Creed that I think you guys might enjoy. So massive shout out to Jesse for swapping me. Hope you enjoy this bottle, Jesse. So anyways, guys, ombre leather. What am I gonna give this out of 10? Let's go with a seven. I think this is a great leather if you enjoy leather fragrances, but I think for the price, 116 bucks, it's definitely not worth it. Especially for that price, you can go pick up a decan of Tuscan leather, way stronger, lasts longer, and a bit more masculine, especially if you want a really masculine leather. This though, um, if you like Tuscan leather, but you want something that's more fruity um, and not as harsh or as masculine, I think this is perfect for you. This reminds me heavily of Montal's Aoud leather. Aoud leather is pretty much Tuscan leather, but it's Montal's take on it. So it's a bit more fruity, a bit more fresh and a lot sweeter, but it's a really great fragrance. And I think this is very close to that, very similar. But yeah, I do enjoy it. It's just, it's, to me, it's kind of generic and not worth owning if you have both. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll talk soon. Let me know below guys, have you guys seen or got your nose on ombre leather? What do you guys think of it? Because for me personally, I think it's a bit redundant to own both, but I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. As always, subscribe, comment, and share this video around with your friends. There's gonna be a lot more content coming out. And you know what, hey, below, drop what kind of car you, got, you guys drive. Let's hear it. <laughs> Take care guys.